Now, there's 150 Ukrainian refugees who have been placed in direct provision and the AIN2 leader, Pater Tobin, has described it as shocking the state drawing provisions uh, on how it provides services to one group of people over another cement's division. Uh, so he said, well, Bulalini and Faco is a spokesperson uh, for Massey, the movement of asylum seekers in Ireland. And he joins me now. Uh, Bulalini, you're welcome to the show. It's, it's always good to talk to you. Is, is are our direct provision centres a suitable place for Ukrainian refugees? Good afternoon and thank you for having me. Um, no, um, uh, the answer is unequivocally no. Um, the direct provision system is not suitable, not just for uh, Ukrainian people, but for anybody. Um, there, there, there is no argument that um, uh, says that it is okay to put uh, one group of people in direct provision and it is appalling to put Ukrainian refugees in the direct provision system. Um, the, it's criticized uh, both domestically and internationally uh, uh, for breaches of fundamental human rights and how um, people are kept in direct provision in um, uh, uh, in shared and congregated um, and segregated at times um, uh, living environments where uh, children are institutionalized and grow up in that institutionalization. Um, it's never been appropriate to keep people in the direct provision system for long term. Um, uh, and so to put um, uh, anybody, uh, whether they are from Ukraine, from Yemen, from Rohingya, uh, from Iraq, um, uh, or from uh, uh, Syria mm. uh, or Congo, uh, uh, it's simply inappropriate. Uh, uh, despite that, I mean, it, it, it is the placement of Ukrainian refugees that seems to have, you know, angered or shocked people. I mean, w- w- what is your assessment of that, that, you know, we seem maybe as a society to be able to turn a blind eye to the issues around direct vision some of the time, not all of the time. And we've covered it here in this show and you and I have spoken before, but we do forget about it. And suddenly when there's Ukrainians there, it's 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 suddenly a scandal. I find it deeply shocking um, uh, because it reveals on how we think about compassion uh, for people who've come to Ireland uh, uh, to seek sanctuary uh, and that we are now starting to grade um, who we should treat better than another person. If you remember, uh, not so long ago, there was outrage when people found out that Ukrainian uh, people were uh, transferred from hotels um, uh, to different towns and children taken out of school with no uh, notice. Um, at very short notice, within a matter of hours, um, uh, 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 children were uprooted from schools that they had enrolled in in local towns and were taken to a different town um, because that's where the hotel accommodation uh, was available for them. Um, and people were outraged by that. But it's been policy of the Irish government to do that through the direct provision system. People being transferred from Tipperary uh, to Donegal uh, with no say on the matter as if they are livestock and people are suddenly expressing outrage when it's done to Ukraine and as if it was okay when it was done to a person from Africa or from the Middle East or from Asia. I think that uh, uh, the response to the Ukrainian refugee uh, situation has been somewhat laudable uh, because in general, um, we want the state to treat people humanely. We want the state to give people access to documentation that they need in order to start their life. We want people to get support in order to go and live independently in their community. We want people to be allowed to work so that they can support themselves. We want children to go to school. We want people to be provided with health care. But when the Irish state does all that it possibly can to provide all of that for people because they come from Ukraine and neglects other people who've come from other parts of the world seeking sanctuary. That is absolute racism. It's called institutional racism. 